looking to make some extra cash, you might be considering stocks, crypto, or renting out a space. But did you know certain rare pennies could actually bring in big bucks? While this isn't financial advice, some of these coins have sold for impressive amounts. Let's explore which pennies are worth more than you'd expect. The 1914 S. Lincoln Penny while this penny isn't the rarest out there, it still holds an impressive value of $105,800. It was sold in August 2006 and is part of the Bowers and Marina and Kate Collection Part 2. Minted at the San Francisco Mint, over 4 million of these pennies were produced. This particular one has kept its original copper color, thanks to careful storage that has protected it from tarnishing or wear. If you happen to find an older penny in good condition, it's worth researching how to store it properly. Even worn rare pennies can sell for a good price. But keeping them in pristine condition can significantly increase their value. Plus, it's always more appealing when a coin doesn't show its age. The 1943 Bronze Lincoln in 1943, the U.S. Mint switched from making pennies out of bronze to zinc-coated steel. This was to conserve copper for World War II efforts. However, a few 1943 pennies were mistakenly struck with bronze planches instead of steel, making them incredibly rare and valuable today. Known as error coins, these bronze 1943 Lincoln pennies are highly sought after by collectors. It's still unclear how many were made, but if you come across one, it could be worth a fortune. Just be cautious, as there are counterfeit versions out there trying to mimic this rarity. Keep an eye out for the real deal. 1944 Steel Wheat Penny the 1944 Steel Wheat Penny is unique because it looks like other silver-colored U.S. coins, unlike the usual copper penny. Similar to the 1943 Bronze Lincoln Pennies, it's uncertain how many were made. These steel pennies weren't intentionally produced. It's believed they were mistakenly struck on leftover steel planches from 1943. This makes them error coins, which can be worth a lot to collectors. Be cautious, though. There are fakes out there, particularly zinc-coated pennies trying to pass as the real thing. 1909 S. Indian Cent Before Lincoln appeared on the penny, the coin featured an Indian head design. In 1909, 309,000 of these Indian head pennies were minted. Today, their value ranges from around $300 for worn ones to $1,000 if they're in mint condition. While they're not the rarest or most expensive pennies out there, they are still relatively easy to find either online or at a local coin shop. 1873 Indian Head Penny The 1873 Indian Head Penny is a valuable and rare coin worth checking out if you're starting a coin collection. While over 11 million were minted, that doesn't account for coins that were never released or later melted down. Depending on its condition, this penny can sell anywhere from $250 to as much as $10,000. It's a beautiful coin and a great addition for collectors. 1858 Flying Eagle Penny Though we now connect the American Eagle with the quarter, the Flying Eagle once graced the front of a penny in 1858. About 24 million of these pennies were minted, excluding those lost or melted down. A circulated 1858 Flying Eagle penny typically sells for around $15. However, if you have one in mint condition, it could be worth up to $10,000. This penny design was produced from 1856 to 1858, before the Indian head design took over. Flying Eagle pennies from 1856 and 1857 are also rare, and highly valued by collectors. 1955 Double Die Lincoln In 1955, a major minting error occurred, resulting in a unique coin known as the 1955 Doubled Die Lincoln Cent. 
Due to a mistake during the minting process, each letter and number on the coin was stamped twice. You can spot the doubling in In God We Trust at the top, Liberty on the left, and the year 1955 on the right. When these pennies were released, collectors and the general public took notice, sparking a surge in coin collecting. Today, these error coins can sell for about $1,000 with uncirculated versions going for as much as $2,500. If your parents or grandparents have old coin stashes, it might be worth checking. They could be holding on to a valuable piece of history. 1864 Indian Head Penny Here's another highly sought-after Indian Head Penny that collectors love. This coin dates back to the Civil War a time when Americans were holding on to gold, silver, and copper to safeguard their wealth. The government struggled to mint more coins due to the limited supply of metals. One unique feature of this penny is the small L, added to Lady Liberty's head ribbon. Few of these coins remain in uncirculated condition, and it's estimated that around 10 million were minted. Not 5 million is often believed. It's a rare find that could fetch a high price, making it worth holding on to or selling. 1877 Indian Head Penny The 1877 Indian Head Penny can be worth up to $150,000, like one that sold for around that amount at a Heritage Auctions event in Milwaukee in 2007. It's the rarest of all Indian Head Pennies due to the economic depression of the time. In 1877, many American families struggled financially and couldn't even afford to save a penny. This makes finding an 1877 penny in uncirculated mint condition incredibly rare. If you have one, it's probably best to keep it quiet unless you're ready to sell. 1909 VDB Matte Proof Penny This is a rare proof coin minted specifically for collectors. Just under 1,200 of these pennies were made. Each one features the designer's initials, VDB, prominently displayed on the reverse side, right beneath the words, one cent, and nestled between two feathers. The obverse side showcases Abraham Lincoln's portrait. Due to its extreme rarity, the 1909 VDB matte proof penny is highly coveted among collectors. Over the years, the coin has developed a unique color due to over a century of storage, and its vibrant hues only increase its allure. If you ever come across one of these coins, it might be worth holding on to or selling for a substantial profit. In August 2014, one was valued at a staggering $258,500 and sold by Heritage Auctions in Chicago. VDB stands for Victor David Brenner, the designer of the Lincoln Scent. Now we want to hear from you. Do you collect rare coins or prefer unique cash? Let us know in the comments below, and before you leave, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to FaxBuddy for more fascinating content. Click the bell icon to stay updated.